Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Last Game Hunter. Today we're going to fix a MacBook Pro with no video. So what happens when you turn it on... You get the audio, no indication of any video whatsoever, no backlight, no nothing, which usually comes down to the GPU. So that GPU is your video card. In this case, the video card is probably unseated itself solder-wise. We're going to take this apart, infrared weld that GPU back together, fire it back up, and see if we have it working. Okay, so for this, of course, you're going to need some tools because this is mostly a torque base star, whatever you wish to call it, screw uh, system that Mac uses. And in this case, I do have this kit. I do have other kits that have it all, but this is an Apple kit that's supposed to do it all. So let's see. Well, guys, in this case, I don't know if someone's replaced the screws or not, but they're definitely the wrong screws. And they're Phillips on this one. That is really odd. I think some Macs might have used Phillips and then others used Torque. Most of the ones I've worked on have used torque. These are your back screws. You don't have to really remember this because your back screws are your long ones and everywhere else are your short ones. I love it when the GPU is on top of the board because sometimes then I don't have to take the board out if I can get a proper hit on it. But in most cases with Apple, the GPU is underneath and the board does have to come out and we're about to find that out right now. There's your two fans. There's your whole entire motherboard right here. And the GPU is going to be either here or here, I believe. When I take it out, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so this whole entire board needs to come apart. Unfortunately, one thing I hate working on are apples. The battery. torques now yep so the motherboard's in by torques but the back panel wasn't you would think they would at least do the other way around and stop you from going inside but whatever With the video, you have a flip up tab that you want to make sure that you're actually flipping up before you pull and try to pull with the tab, but be very careful. These tabs tend to just bend and fall off. Real pain in the, you know what. Personally, I, I do not like the build of the Apple notebooks very much. Um, I find it very crammed and compact and you'll see why, in my opinion, the video actually die in these. And it's mostly because of this cooling design. There isn't a lot of room. There isn't a lot of movement here. Um, I don't think it dissipates heat quick enough. Also the compounds used, I will change to a silver compound because I find that the compounds that are usually used by factory are never as good as the stuff that you can add, like an Arctic silver. I'm gonna remove the cooling system or the fans first. See, it's actually pretty clean in there too. So you would constantly, like in a, in a normal PC, a laptop like a Acer, HP, or Lenovo, or whoever, it doesn't matter if it's a good brand name or a bad brand name, one of the big things that you look for is dirt along these areas here. And that would tell me that if it's clogged up, I could see why it overheated. In this case, it's pretty clean. So I don't know if anybody's taking it apart before me or not, which I would hope they didn't because if anybody else attempted a reflow on this, I'm gonna have a harder time making this work or making it hold. Now, um, the fact that this is clean and the fact that I'm pretty certain that no one has opened it before, 
would lead me to believe that this is just a poor cooling system. But we're going to uh, take it apart and find out if it has been reflowed. And if it has, then it has been cleaned. Okay, I'm gonna lead towards it hasn't been cleaned. And as we can see here, this is a ring of dirt and I'll show you. Now it's gone, All right? So that is dirt inside this unit. Same thing here, there was a little bit, but not enough for me to have, could have been overlooked. But clearly, I don't think this was opened. We're gonna find out for sure 100%, but I'm now leaning towards that. And there's your power right here. So this is your whole power piece. This pipe part right here plugs in here. A little bit of a nuisance because if you forget and you go to put your board back in, you're like, ah, crap. And you screwed it all down, you gotta take it all out again. Pain, pain, pain. Okay guys, here's my dilemma with Apple. You see right here, your GPU and CPU are right here. This is it. This little heat pipe is cooling both your CPU and your GPU, so your video card and your and your actual processor are cooled by this little piece. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've done a lot of Apple, and every single one of them, just an overheating issue. Um, it just comes down to, one, it could have been user error, they could be using it on a bed, the back vents are blocked, sure enough, you're going to kill your video card. But that just, it just comes down to a couple things. Yes, user error is probably one of the number one reasons. They built these things to be laid down on a table and that's how they're tested and so on, but it's not the real world. And in the real world, this is not exactly a good cooling system. And this here, right here is your GPU and this is your CPU. So the GPU right here at the furthest back is our culprit, is what we're hoping anyway on this unit. I'm going to do a video reflow on it and we're going to fire it back up with new compound and hopefully we have this thing back up and running. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The compound on it, that's the stuff they use. It's hard. What is it going to cool? It doesn't work very well. The stuff that I will put on will stay liquefied at all times, which means it doesn't need to take a lot of heat to, to get it to liquefy or solidify or start functioning. This is just absolute garbage. Okay, so now that we have the board out, we're going to prep it and get ready for our reflow. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anybody uses a hairdryer for a reflow should get the hairdryer upside the head. It doesn't work. So from a man tech, I have some special resin or resin or flux or whatever you wish to call it that uh, also has a special adhesive that once the heat sucks it in, it'll actually bond the weld much better than factory. So I'm gonna put that all along the edges here and take it over to the infrared station. So far I've been lucky and I have never had to do a reball. But anyway, there's our paste put around the proc or the GPU and that will pretty much disappear with the heat. So what's happened here now too is I've actually heated up the base so the board doesn't warp. And I put it at 96 degrees and I'm putting the GPU temp at 175. There we go. Now I'm not gonna bore you with the whole time. It just is actually takes several minutes. I will skip and go back to putting the board back together because this will bore you seeing the same on off light. 
you're noticing some trophies there on the side, sorry about that. That's when I used to race RC cars. Uh, we used to be pretty heavy into it, but those days are gone for me now. I had to wait a while and let the board cool down, let the chip cool off. Everything's nice and cool now. We're gonna put some compound on this guy. Nice little coating. Not too thick because, well, once if it's applied proper, it's going to squish off to the sides anyway. If the aluminum is actually making the proper contact it's supposed to make. Okay, we'll be right back after we get it back together and let's fire it up. We have it up and running. That is as simple as that is. Unfortunately, without the infrared welder, I guess it doesn't make it as simple for regular home people, but this is how you fix a motherboard in a MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit share, like, subscribe, all those goodies if you're not subscribed. Please don't hit it again and unsubscribe because that kind of sucks. Till next time guys, it's game over. Gonna run this for a lot longer and make sure it holds. Send it back to the customer and make one person really happy they don't have to buy a brand new Mac.